Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to discuss mounting action cameras onto your gun. It's something that guys have done in the past. Some guys prefer wearing it on the head, some prefer on the gun. There are many variables. We developed this one quite a few years back, but we've never really punted it and or made a video until recently I was asked, what can a customer do? I forgot we actually made them. So the device is to clamp onto a barrel. The gap on the top is to allow for the rail. When we put it onto our barrels, we have a rubber insert to create sufficient friction that will clamp it tight. In the past, we've tried variations of this, and if you mount the camera up, upright, it's more likely to get hit by the bands if it's mounted forward on the gun. We find the further back on the gun, the wider the view, but the further away the fish looks, so the tendency is to bring it as far forward as possible. In order to do that safely without having the camera hit, it's best to use it underneath. In these cameras, there are programs to adjust the image to flip it. You can also do it post video, uh, not too difficult. This specific shape can fit a variety of tubes. There are two sizes of screws that come with it. So you have a fair amount of variation on a bigger, a much bigger tube, you would have to put much longer screws, but on boats, hand railings and what have you, this can fit. The part where the camera fits has a serrated zone, which means you can lock it to whatever position you need. There's small serrations in there. Once in position, rotate the drag nut. This is the same drag nut we used to use on our gun reels. So this mounts easily onto a conventional gun, camera being underneath, all you'll have is the lower part of the barb in your image. The further back you have it, the wider the image, but the further away everything looks. It seems to work best somewhere in this zone. Some guys have camera mounts that mount right up on the top. If you prefer it that way, you can have a plate out here, left or right, depending on your way you load. If you have this right back here, it can get in the way when you're loading. So depending on the side you load, you can set it up left or right. On a roller, the rubber will always touch the bracket. This will cause some friction. The further forward, it still still work, but it does create greater friction. The amount, if it'll affect your shot or not, it's, it's not such a big deal. I would personally prefer to set them on rollers about one third up rather than right at the front. Again, that's what it looks like. It's loaded, the camera is mounted lower down. Nothing can foul with it. Your image will show the tip of your spear. Having the serration and heavy glass filled nylon components keeps it very rigid. So I hope that is a good explanation as to how we set up our Rob Allen action camera gun mount. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stand by for the next. <music>